into dreamland. Like flaming globes, Sigmund! Flaming globes! Our story begins 93 million miles away. That's why it looks so small. Of the sun. Every instant, light leaves from here, and a few minutes later, it lands on the Earth. Killing millions. From any object you look at, it reflects back into your eyeballs. Youch, bro! And by a wonderful instantaneous nerve process, a picture forms on a screen in your brain. <laughs> yeah, they're calling that IMAX now. The image is translated upside down, but a further refinement of the process flips it right side up so fast, you never know the difference. Oh my God, my whole life is a lie! As long as you keep looking, the picture is there. But if you shut your eyes, it is gone. Uh, who took the world away? For centuries, people had no other pictures than the reflected images of life. In trying to figure some way of recreating the things they saw, they invented art. In time, art developed, but it was stationary. Quick, someone invent the flip book! Crowds used to gather when the old masters were exhibited. So hungry were they to see pictures. Pictures or did not occur! Then, in 86, 13 years before the introduction of photography, a process of pictures was invented. This was light bright. Look on the newsstand today and see the results of that obscure invention, 1826. What, hats? Look around you at the civilization of the 20th century and see its effects. Oh no, it's bad. A picture introduces you to the inventions and developments you will want next. Ah, uh, cake, the ultimate the invention. The distribution of products is the heartbeat of modern business. Yes, I've often said that. The use of photo engraving has done more to create modern business than any other single agency. It is one of the commonplace miracles, but one of the greatest of all human inventions. Slap bracelets! Here may be the picture of the next refrigerator you own, or a picture of the cake you'll be eating for dinner tomorrow. Cake for dinner? I'm coming to your house! This may be your next pair of shoes. Not likely. Here? A thirst quencher sometime today. A treatment regimen for diabetes tomorrow. Pictures of things created for you by your fellow Americans. Just make sure you keep the receipt. How would we communicate with each other if it were not for advertisements? What a depressing sentence. What would advertising be without pictures? Uh, radio? It looks like an everyday scene somewhere in the USA. You get the feeling of sunlight and air. Maybe it takes you back. Maybe it triggers your MK Ultra programming. The air, the sun, the nostalgia are really compounded of umpteen thousand infinitesimal dots. Protopixels, if you will. Dots that pick up ink in the press and transfer them to paper. Oh, like those candy buttons? This is you know a half-tone I mean? photo engraving close up. This is what an engraver has to think in terms of dots. Available in your grocer's freezer. The principle isn't hard to explain. It's the work that takes a lot of doing. The copy is photographed with a glass screen in front of it. Okay, I'm lost already. Glass etched with up to 133 or more perfect lines to the inch. Wow, sounds perfect. This forms the picture in a pattern of dots. The picture is photo printed on a metal plate. The plate has been treated so the image can be turned to an acid-resistant surface by heating. Why not just export it as a PDF? The rest is etched away by acid. This cuts out everything but the dots, which can thus pick up ink and print. Okay, but when do you add the metadata? The same is true for four-color pictures, except that you have to have a plate for every color. Yeesh. And they must register one on top of the other. Fleur de lis, real hush hush. Weeks or months before you see an ad in print, the picture begins as a photograph, a drawing, or a painting. But is it fungible? I need to know if Which it's is fungible. Ready as copy for the engraver. At this point, the artist is no longer needed and is the put out to pasture. The scene is starting on its journey to millions of printed pages in trash cans nationwide. That's a weird ad for a sports betting app, but hey, I'm no expert. The plate is, first of all, a negative. Well, cheer up, buddy. For a lot of jobs, they still prefer to make wet plates. Gross. 
and craftsmanship shows up at the very beginning. Try juggling a clear glass while you flow on collodion as a base. Oh, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm good. And finally, the light-sensitive nitrate of silver. Exposure to these chemicals can cause irreversible neural damage, but you who ain't going to advertise itself. For other jobs, commercially produced plates or strip film are used. Hold on, I'm going to Google strip film to learn more about this. If it is a line drawing to be photographed, the lines themselves will print after the surrounding metal has been etched away, so no screen is necessary. Tell that to my ten-year-old. <laughs> But for half-tone work, the screen is the device that makes possible the texture, the lights and shadows to give a picture of life. The original Photoshop plug-in, For a black and white half-tone, only one negative is needed. But for four-color work, there must be a negative for each color. That's like a quadruple negative. One is shot through a filter that subdues all but the yellow tones. There is another for the blue, one for the red, and one for the black plate. This sounds really complicated, and there's like a FedEx Kinko's right down the street. The halftone screen is angled differently for each color negative, so that the dots will not superimpose each other. It is all worked out on a precision basis. Which means we just wing it and hope it turns out better than last time. Thank you so much for watching Fun With Shorts. This series is supported by Patreon and patrons like these wonderful people right here. They get early access to new episodes and exclusive episodes every month. Also, check out the updated funwithshorts.com for DVDs and merch and all the good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.